In this unit, we'll be looking at a number of basic elements that are used in circuits. Now, when we have an element, we'll start with two terminal elements. So, this shows an arbitrary element and it has two terminals A and B. Now, as we said earlier, as we discussed earlier, these elements are described by a relationship between the voltage across the element and the current through the element. Okay. So, now, uh, there is a particular convention that is used for uh, defining the current and voltage that is known as the passive sign convention. What it means is that we define the voltage with uh, some polarity. Say, we choose A to be positive and B to be negative. Okay. Now, of course, this does not mean that the voltage is positive this way. This is the way we define the voltage. Okay. If we define the voltage like this, then the current I should be defined as going into terminal A. That is, whichever terminal is defined as the positive for the voltage. Okay. Current I is flowing into the terminal defined as plus for the voltage V. Okay, we will see later why this is called passive sign convention okay, when we come to uh, power and energy, but this is the convention that we will use. Okay. Otherwise, there will be some ambiguity. I mean, if we take I the other way, then it will be negative of whatever I we take in this way. Okay. Now, with this definition, let us go to the first of our elements, which is a voltage source. Voltage and current are the basic electrical quantities and there are uh, sources which establish a given value of voltage or current and the voltage source establishes the uh, voltage difference between two terminals. It is given by this symbol okay, with the polarity indicated inside. What does it mean? It means that the voltage between these two terminals A and B measured in this way, which is given by the polarity inside is a certain V naught. This is the specified voltage. So, let us say for instance, let us take this to be 3 volts. What it means is that the potential difference between A and B is 3 volts or in more specifically point A is higher than B by 3 volts. Okay. Now, again I want to emphasize that the polarity shown here is for the definition of the voltage. The voltage itself could be positive or negative. So, let me take another case where V defined this way is minus 2 volts. What it means is that A is higher than B by minus 2 volts, which is equivalent to saying A is lower than B by 2 volts. Okay. And the property of a voltage source is that it maintains the specified voltage between A and B regardless of the current flowing through it. Okay. So, it does not matter what the value of I is the voltage between A and B is maintained to be 
3 volts or whatever V naught is. Okay. And this voltage could also be dependent on time, though in most of this course we will be looking at voltages which are constant with time. It could very well be a voltage source which has a time dependent voltage. Okay, that is very much possible. All it means is that the voltage difference between A and B is that function of time. Okay. Now, when we have V and I like this, it is common to graphically depict the relationship between V and I wherever possible, okay? because uh, as they say a picture is worth a thousand words. It is useful to imagine these characteristics graphically and sometimes you can also carry out useful calculations with this. Okay? Now, it generally it is common to draw current as a function of voltage that is what we will be using for other elements. We could also draw V on the vertical axis and I on the horizontal axis. Now, as I just said the property of a voltage source V is that it maintains a constant voltage uh, between these terminals. This V will be a constant regardless of the current flowing through it. Okay? So, let us say this V is given to be some V naught and if V naught happens to be positive, the characteristic will look like this. What does it say? V is always equals V naught. So, that means that the characteristic is a vertical line like this. Okay? Now, if uh, V happen to be minus 2 volts, then this vertical line would be at minus 2 volts. If V happen to be 3 volts, the vertical line will be at plus 3 volts. Okay? So, this is what the characteristic of a voltage source looks like graphically. Okay? This voltage source will be used in uh, circuits to establish a certain voltage between some given terminals.